Welcome to the Arizona Wildcats show brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. The Arizona Wildcats continue preparation for Thursday's NCAA tournament game against either Wichita State or Vanderbilt. UA coach Sean Miller talked about how the Wildcats got there and what their expectations are in the coming week. You know, I'm happy for Caleb. I mean, he's been about 2,500 miles away from his home. Now he's an hour and a half, so hopefully all of Claremont, New Hampshire, will be there and supporting him. Um, you know, it's good to give your team a lot of different experiences. Uh, you know, you could say, congratulations, coach. You guys uh, got to Spokane. Look, Spokane's not right down the street. I mean, it takes a while to get there, you know, and we've been there two times already this year. So, you know, going to a different time zone, a different area of the country, the one thing that I know, Providence, Rhode Island, loves college basketball. Uh, I'm, I, I was a part of it as a student athlete myself. The Providence Civic Center is a basketball tradition-rich arena. They love it. And you look at the, the teams that will be there in our pod of eight, some great programs. It's going to be what you want is you want the pageantry for your players and for the game that you, you grew up hoping would be there when it's your turn. And we have that in Providence. So Providence loves college basketball. Uh, Ed Cooley promised me everyone in Providence is going to be cheering for us. You have Claremont, New Hampshire, right down the street, which is Caleb's hometown. And most importantly, we're in the tournament. And we're going to play either Vanderbilt or Wichita State, two coaches that I think are among the game's best, two programs that are used to being in the tournament. I've used Wichita State as an example with our own team throughout the year because Van Fleet and Baker remind me kind of of Caleb and York's. You know, if you look at their winning tradition, the number of games those guys have been in, you know, if, if they would be the opponent. And then same thing with Vanderbilt coming from the SEC and Kevin Stalling. So whoever we play is going to be a terrific team, and uh, we're just excited to have that opportunity. What challenges will that represent not knowing who the opponent is going to be until Tuesday? That's unique. Right now we're full speed ahead, and learning all we can about who we're going to play. Uh, that's been taken from us because – you know, either team can beat each other on a neutral court. And we're not going to really know who we're playing until, I guess, about midnight on Tuesday. So uh, with that, that's unique. I also will tell you that if you're one of those two teams, you're not worried about Arizona. You know, you're worried about the opponent. And you're not going to have much time at all to even flip the script to put, prepare for us hardly at all. So... Uh, it works both ways. You know, for us, it's about getting our own house in order, making sure that we're ready to play, we're healthy, uh, and that we're, we're primed to be at our best. And a lot of our preparation is about ourselves anyway. And then as soon as we find out who we're able to play, then we'll turn the page quickly. We're preparing for both teams right now. How did the Pac-12 prepare you for this? It seems like they prepared you a lot big time. Right, and I've always looked uh, at us as being well-prepared for the tournament. I mean, our, our conference has been some, somewhat underappreciated in recent years. This year, we're really given the proper respect, but no question. We played, if you think about it, in an NCAA tournament field for about a month in a row. You think about it, games at Colorado, at Utah, Colorado and Oregon on a neutral court setting, you know, Cal here at home. So uh, no doubt that's prepared us. I think the level of play of who we're going to face on Thursday uh, will be reflective in a lot of the competition we faced over the last couple of months. Try this matchup, low prices and faster checkout. You can count on it at Fry's. <laughs>